Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a custom web page in Odoo. By the end of this tutorial, you will know how to add a new menu item to your website, create a custom page and do some dynamic redirection. So here as you can see, I have already added this custom page. It's a pretty simple page. I have added it into my website and there is a button that once clicked will take you to the contact us page so it's a very basic um, page which is displaying welcome to the custom page and uh, it just has a button so by the end of this video you will be able to add a menu item to your website create a custom page and implement this button that triggers a controller action so let's get started here i have a module First of all, we have to create a view of our page. I'm going to create a template. This is basically the page that is going to be rendered on your website. So you can add whatever you want in it. For now, I'm just going to create a basic page. For that, I'm going to call website.layout. So it will have all the basic website styling. And I'm going to add the text welcome to the custom page and we'll have a button which we'll use for redirection so in href we have to pass a root or url that once this button is clicked it will take us there so for now let's just focus on the layout once we have created the layout we next have to add it to a menu in the website menu so that this page appears on our website i'm going to create a new record for a menu and it will be for the model website dot menu here we have to define the name of menu next we have to define the url that once clicked this menu will take us to and next we have to define the parent id so we have to maintain the hierarchy and for now i'm just giving it website main menu and for the sequence i'll just give 100 so it displays in the last now let's add these two files in the manifest okay so now we have to add controller for this action and this action that once these actions are called a controller should be there to handle the request so i am going to add a controller and putting it in my init file let's name the controller file as main here we will add all of the data so first we have to import important things http from odoo and request from odoo.http next we are going to define our controller class and it will be inheriting http.controller next we have to define the root now we have to take the root from here let's first do for this one custom page now once we click that item that menu or that button this function will be called and we have to add website equals to true since it's called a website and we can pass the arguments now what i want here is i want to render my page once we click that menu item I'll use request dot render and inside this I'll pass my template ID which we just created the module name website extended dot this is the template ID custom page let me fix it custom page template okay now we have to define the controller for this button custom page button action and this time our root will be custom page slash button action 
and for now what we want is just to render the same page or we can use redirect so it will redirect us to that page custom page so once we click this button it will redirect us to the same page okay so we have created the view the template we have defined the menu for this template here this is the menu website dot menu once we have defined all of the views the related menus we have to define the related controllers we have defined the related controllers for all of the redirects all right so once you add all of the necessary code the views menu and the controller you have to restart our server and install or upgrade the module i have already activated and installed the module so let me just restart the server and go to my website server is started and here is the website as you can see we have a custom page with the button and now what we want is to redirect that button to the contact us page so i will simply add the redirect url for contact us here which is contact us restart and refresh my page now if i go and click that button as you can see it will redirect me to the contact us page if you like the video kindly subscribe and you can find the complete code in the description below thanks for watching